All right, now this is the topic I really wanted to fucking discuss. Uh, our oldest allies showing you how you're supposed to treat the government when they start acting the way they've been acting over the last few decades, especially the last year or so. They're leading the damn way. It, it's so bad that I I, I got to get into this. We're getting into this right away. Um, let's check this out. Manure dumped outside French Parliament in protest. The stench of manure was in the air outside French Parliament. It's always in the stench in the air outside government because government sucks, especially modern globalist government. Thursday after, like, corporatist government, Thursday after a protest dumped a truck full of ex animal excrement in front of the National Assembly in Paris. According to local reports, the driver left the odorous presence for parliament members and President Francis Hollande out with Hollande and the whole political class. A statement on the side of the truck read in Agency France press report. Story continues below. That's a lot of manure. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, desktop, desktop. Oh yes, look at that. That is glorious. That is fucking glorious. We got to do this. Set this up. Let me know. <laughs> we got to do this to our government. According to the road, is the man who works as a horse breeder delivered several tons of manure to the gate of the lower house of French Parliament to protest a regional tax hike on Esquire equestrian activities. After dropping the load, the man was <laughs> was promptly arrested by police. He's expected to face charges as he has been arrested for similar feces-related protests in the past. However, dude, bro, you are my new spirit animal. However, opponents of Holiday were quick to throw their support behind the poop attack. Speaking to Le Huffington Post, the head of the group calling for the president's resignation said he has encouraged these types of manure protests. We salute the courage of sympathizers and support citizen protests, David Van Helmerk said. <laughs> uh, Holiday has faced increased criticism lately following a magazine's report that he is having an affair with the French actress. I mean, him who he has sex with, as long as there is, it's adult and it's consensual, that's none of our fucking business. Um, but here we are in a world where uh, Americans don't like what's going on, but they walk in lockstep and still be like, I don't know how the Germans could blow well, out what happened in Germany to happen in Germany in World War II. Meanwhile, French and Italy show us the way Italy just like opens up to their, their, their restaurants and and they fucking just go to town. People go to work. They go to eat. The, the thing. Police come in and try to find them. They're like, oh, I'll fucking make you. Yeah, pay that fine. But you're going to fucking eat that. And the police are like, what? What do you say? And the people stand up. and like, yeah, we'll fucking hold you down. You're, he said you're going to eat that. You're going to eat that fucking fine. Get the fuck out of here. We eat it. <laughs> and now you get this guy dumping fucking manure on the fucking government. Uh, now we just need a motherfucking tar and a feathering a president. And we'll show the way. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. Peaceful protest. That is how it's done. Because <laughs> uh, we have to do something about it because it's going to get bad. I'm afraid it's going to it's going to have to be. I'm afraid it's going to have to be solved by the barrel of gun because historically it's always going to it's always had to be solved by a barrel of gun. But maybe we've moved past that as a people and we can push through this without that. But I don't think so. I, I think all the peaceful protest does is give them time to make us th that to sh make give to have them figure out a way to show us the, to trick us into saint thinking that they've unfucked it while they're still fucking us in the ass because that's what they've been doing. But this is the world we live in everywhere: black, white, yellow, or polka dotted. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, we we still get these problems of race saying that African Americans are, are are they don't have lack opportunity because of racism, but fucking black Africans from Nigeria come over here and they make a fucking killing. So I I I'm not saying that there isn't like an element in people's lives that like contribute to that, but it isn't race. There's countless of examples of why it isn't race. And we're never going to figure out what it actually is, which is probably class. I'm saying class because it's, it's it's poor rich. But we're never really going to figure out what that is when we focus on shit that's not the fucking problem. All they're doing, it's Marxist 101. They're dividing us into groups, making us hate each other. When we have so much in common, we don't really disagree with each other as nearly as much as you think. But it keeps us from looking at them and doing things like this manure protest or doing things even 
even greater than that, like Italy, where the whole community, it wasn't just the restaurant owners, it was the citizens. Open up your coffee shop. I'll be there at 6 p.m. for my black on rye, my black and white rye toast. I'll be there for my, my triple latte espresso and my muffin. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> you support your community. You don't allow any of this garbage to continue because that's how we can get all this stupid. That's how we get Hitlers and shit. I thought we said never again, but we're complaining about retarded first world problems when China is literally harvesting people's organs. I want to see more of this in the world. More of this. We're dumping poop on people. Dumping poop on government. On your government. It's a perfect metaphor. On your government. On your government all day long. Peacefully on your government. Put them in line. <laughs> That's how it's done. Bravo, the go guy. Bravo. Dump on the government. I just, I, that deserves a long, nice, long round of applause because you can't get any better than literally on your government. He didn't just on his government. He literally and figuratively on his government. That's how it's done. You make them feel the shit, smell the shit, taste the shit, hear the shit. <laughs> oh, sometimes the French are awesome and sometimes they're not. The story of all human beings. <laughs> the conundrum that is human beings. We can be both awesome and horrible at the same time. Both glorious and magnificent. And being sad. <sighs> what a wonderful time to be alive, huh? Living in the twilight zone. But that's all we have for here, uh, as always. This has always been my thought of the day. I don't always have, I'm at, like, I'm not thinking about, like, I don't do daily shows anymore because there's not a lot of news I want to talk about. But when I do find something, you'll find me talking about it here. As always, I'm Docimo, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.